Morning Bee champions come from throughout our region. Who will win the Dallas Morning News Regional Spelling Bee? Presented by the University of Texas at Dallas. Whataburger, just like you like it. Southwest Airlines. With Southwest Airlines, you are now free to be more productive. Visit southwest.com. Now, here's Debbie Denman, news anchor and reporter with WFAA-TV Channel 8 and MC of this year's competition. Thank you and welcome to the 51st annual Dallas Morning News Regional Spelling Bee presented by the University of Texas at Dallas. These spellers took first place honors at the county spelling bees throughout North and East Texas and will be competing today for the Dallas Regional Championship, valuable prizes and the right to represent the Dallas region at the Scripps National Spelling Bee in Washington, D.C. That's this May and before we meet our contestants, we have a very brief message from our presenting sponsor, the University of Texas at Dallas. The University of Texas at Dallas has nearly 15,000 students and more than 125 rigorous academic programs. Entering freshmen have the highest average SAT scores of any Texas public university. Degree programs in science, engineering, and business are core strengths, and new discoveries here have the potential to grow the region's economy and ensure the community's well-being. Only 40 years old, UT Dallas is a place to create the future. Learn more at utd.edu. Well, thanks again to the University of Texas at Dallas. Now, here are the contestants. They represent the very best among almost 100,000 students from nearly 700 schools who participated in spelling bees at the classroom level. And in order to compete in today's bee, they had to win spell downs at the school and county levels as well. Today's champion will head on to Washington, D.C. Today's champion and their guest will win an all-expense-paid trip to Washington, D.C. as guests of the Dallas Morning News. The trip will include sightseeing and the chance to become the National Spelling Bee Champion. Regional Bee sponsor Southwest Airlines will be providing the airline tickets to D.C. The Dallas Morning News would like to thank its three generous Regional Bee sponsors. Presenting sponsor, the University of Texas at Dallas, Whataburger, and Southwest Airlines. All right, before we begin, I'd like to remind you at home to check out today's Dallas Morning News, where you will find a full page ad featuring all of today's contestants. Now let's meet our very distinguished officials. Our pronouncer is Sherry Coleman, executive assistant at Harvest Partners and veteran spelling bee pronouncer for the Dallas County. Our judges are Jay Quitman Stevens, tax attorney with Jones Day. Courtney Carter, professor of speech at Eastfield Community College and Dr. Dennis Kratz, Dean of the School of Arts and Humanities at the University of Texas at Dallas. Standard National Spelling Bee rules prevail. And now here is Sherry Coleman and the 29 contestants in the Dallas Morning News Regional Spelling Bee. Ballerina. Ballerina. B-A-L-L-E-R-E. I N A. Ballerina. That's correct. Giraffe. Giraffe. G I R R A F F. I'm sorry, the correct spelling is G I R A F F E. Access. This is a verb meaning get at, gain freedom, or ability to obtain or make use of. Access. A-C-C-E-S-S. -E -S -S. Access. That's correct. Hyphen. May I have the, def may I have the definition, please? The punctuation mark used to divide or to compound words or word elements. Hyphen. Hyphen. H Y P H O N. Hyphen. The correct spelling is H Y P H E N. Cosmetic. Cosmetic. C O S M E T I C. Cosmetic. That's correct. 
Borax. Borax. B O R A X. That's correct. Hibachi. May I have the language of origin, please? This word is from Japanese. Hibachi. Hibachi. H I B A C H I. Hibachi. That's correct. Morgue. May I have the definition, please? A place where the bodies of un unidentified persons or those who have died of violence or unknown causes are kept until released for burial. Morgue. Can you use it in a sentence, please? The television show about investigating crimes usually has at least one scene that takes place in a morgue. Morgue. M-O-R-G-E. Morgue. M -O -R -G -E. morgue. The correct spelling is M-O-R-G-U-E. Decoy. Decoy. D-E-C-O-Y. Decoy. That's correct. Mesa. Mesa. M-E-S-A. Mesa. That's correct. Credible. Credible. C R E D I B L E. Credible. That's correct. Beige. Beige. B E I G E. Beige. That's correct. Sultan. Sultan. S U L T A N. That's correct. Hector. This is a verb meaning to harass, intimidate, bully, or domineer over by bluster, scolding, or personal pressure. Hector. Hector. H E C T O R. Hector. That's correct. Vendetta. Vendetta. V E N D E T T A. That's correct. Live. Live. L I T H E. Live. That's correct. Fickle. Can I have a definition, please? Given to ready change, inconstancy, whimsical choice, or unpredictable var variability. Fickle. Can I have its origin, please? This word is originally English. Fickle. Fickle. F I C K E L. Fickle. The correct spelling is F I C K L E. Geoponics. Geoponics. Could I have it used in a sentence, please? George's study of geoponics led him to become a land management consultant in Central America. Geoponics. Could I have the definition? An art or science of cultivating the earth. Geoponics. Ge Geoponics. G E O P O N I C S. Geoponics. That's correct. Quiver. 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 Okay. Can I have the definition, please? The act or action of shaking or moving with a slight tremulous motion. A tremor. Quiver. Q U I V E R. That's correct. Ramen. This is a noun meaning quick cooking egg noodles usually served in a broth with bits of meat and vegetables. Ramen. Ramen. R A M E N. Ramen. That's correct. Caboose. Caboose. C A B O O S E. Caboose. That's correct. Folksiness. Folksiness. Can I have the definition, please? The quality of being informal, casual, or familiar, often artificially or excessively. Can I have the, Can I have the language of origin, please? This word is originally English. Folksiness. 
F O L K S I N E S S. Folksiness. That's correct. Chutney. Can you put on the game, please? Chutney. Can you give me a definition, please? A condiment that has the consistency of jam and is made of acid fruits with added raisins, dates, and onions, and seasoned to taste with spices and vinegar. Can you send the sentence, please? Spicy or sweet chutney is sometimes eaten with Indian meals containing curry. Chutney. Can you put on the game, please? Chutney. Chutney. C H U T N E Y. Chutney. That's correct. Transect. Transect. May I please have the definition? Cut across or transversely. Transect. May I please have the language of origin? This word consists of two Latin elements. Transect. Transect. P R A N S S E C T. Transect. The correct spelling is T R A N S E C T. Alligator. Alligator. A L L I G A T O R. Alligator. That's correct. Boutique. Are there any alternate pronunciations? There are none. Boutique. B O U T I Q U E. Boutique. That's correct. Crescent. Crescent. C R E S C E N T. That's correct. Predicate. Predicate. P R E D I C A T E. Predicate. That's correct. Dearth. 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 May I have the definition, please? Deficiency or inadequate supply of something as news or of some quality as courage. Dearth. 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 Can I have the language of origin, please? This word is originally English. Dearth. Are there any alternate pronunciations? No, there are not. Dearth. Is that correct? Say, say it again. again, please. Dearth. Dearth. D I R T H. Dearth. The correct spelling is D E A R T H. Geta. Can you say the word again, please? Geta. Word of origin? This word is from Japanese. I'm sorry, I need to give you a definition also. Japanese wooden clogs for outdoor wear. Geta. 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 G E T T A H. The correct spelling is G E T A. Synergy. Synergy. S Y N E R G Y. Synergy. That's correct. Albatross. Albatross. A L B A T R O S S. Albatross. That's correct. Clementine. Clementine. C L E M A N T 
C-L-E-M-I-N-E. The correct spelling is C-L-E-M-E-N-T-I-N-E. -E. Vulcanize. May I have the language of origin, please? This word consists of a Latin literary name plus an English combining form. Vulcanize. May I have, may I have the definition, please? Subject various materials as for hardening to a process of treating in any of various ways. Vulcanize. Vulcanize. V U L C A N I Z E. Vulcanize. That's correct. Scenario. Scenario. S C E N A R I O. Scenario. That's correct. Fennel. Fennel. F E N N E L. Fennel. That's correct. Raj. This is a noun meaning the reign or rule of a monarch, a sovereignty. Raj. Could I have the language of origin? This word is from a Sanskrit-derived Hindi word, Raj. Raj, R-A-U-G-E, Raj. The correct spelling is R-A-J. Cavalry. This word is a noun, meaning the component of an army that maneuvers and fights on horseback. Cavalry. C-A-V-A-L-R-Y. Cavalry. That's correct. Mattock. Could I have the language of origin, please? This word is from a word that went from Latin to English. Mattock. Mattock. M-A-T-T-O-C-K. That's correct. Quell. Quell. Q-U-E-L-L. -L. Quell. That's correct. Cryptic. 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 Language of origin. This word is from Greek. Cryptic. I have the definition. Enigmatic, mysterious. Cryptic. Cryptic. C R I P T I C. The correct spelling is C R Y P T I C. Virtuosa. This is a noun meaning a woman who excels in the technique of an art, especially one who is a musical performer, as on the violin or the piano. Virtuosa. Virtuosa. V I R T U O S A. Virtuosa. That's correct. Meister singer. Meister Singer, could you use it in a sentence, please? Mr. Hines can trace his family tree back to a Bavarian Meister Singer born in 1498. Could I have the definition, please? A member of any of various German guilds, especially of the 15th and 16th centuries, formed for the cultivation of poetry and music. Meister Singer. Meister Singer. M E I S T E R S I N G E R. Meister Singer. That's correct. Piazza. Can I have a definition, please? An open square in a town. Piazza. P R A S T A. The correct spelling is P I A Z Z A. Intractable. Definition, please. Not easily governed, managed, or directed. Intractable. Intractable. I-N-T-R-A-C-T-A-B-L-E. Intractable. That's correct. Swarm. 
suave. Suave. S U A V E. Suave. That's correct. Benevolent. Benevolent. May I have the definition, please? Marked by a kindly disposition to promote the hap happiness and prosperity of others, or by generosity in and a pleasure at doing good works. Benevolent. Can I have the language of origin, please? This word is from a word that went from Latin to English. Benevolent. B E N E V O L E N T. Benevolent. That's correct. Chintz. This word is a noun meaning a firm, usually glazed cotton fabric of plain weave, commonly with printed designs, generally in not fewer than five colors, used for clothing and for interior decoration. Can Chintz. You, can you pronounce it again, please? Chintz. Can you give me the origin, please? Uh, the word is from a Hindi word. Chintz. Can you use it in a sentence, please? Amy used the colorful chintz to make new curtains for her living room. Chintz. C H I N T Z. Chintz. That's correct. Bravura. Bravura. B R A V U R A. Bravura. That's correct. Tantalize. Tantalize. T A N T I L A Z E. Tantalize. The correct spelling is T A N T A L I Z E. Ambivalent. Is it another pronunciation? Please speak up. Speak up. Another pronunciation? There is not. Ambivalent. 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 A M B I V E L E N T. The correct spelling is A M B I V A L E N T. Seltzer. Ma'am. Seltzer. Seltzer, S-E-L-T-Z-E-R, Seltzer. That's correct. Can we take one more round here? We can if you'd like to. Okay. Kremlin. Kremlin, K R. E M L I N Kremlin. That's correct. Boudoir. Um, can I have the definition, please? The wo a woman's dressing room, bedroom, or private sitting room. Boudoir. Can I have the language of origin? This word is from a French word. Boudoir. Boudoir. B U D O I R Boudoir. The correct spelling is B O U D O I R. Incognito, an adverb meaning with one's identity concealed or assumed to be concealed. Incognito. May I have the language of origin, please? This word came from Italian, which formed it from a Latin word. Incognito. Incognito. I N C O G N I T O. Incognito. That's correct. Sequin. Sequin. S E Q U I N. That's correct. Junta. Can you repeat the word, please? Junta. Junta. H-U-N-T-A. The, 
correct spelling is J-U-N-T-A. Cruller. Definition, please. A small sweet cake made of a rich egg batter formed into twisted strips and fried brown in deep fat. Cruller. Could you use it in the sentence, please? Olive couldn't decide whether to order a cruller or an eclair with her coffee. Cruller. Um, could you give me the language of origin, please? This word is from a Dutch word. Cruller. C-R-U-L-L-E-R. -L -L -E cruller. That's correct. Alcohol. Alcohol. A-L-C-O-H-O-L. -L. That's correct. Musical. Musical. M U S I C A L E. Musical. That's correct. Subterfuge. Subterfuge. S U B T R F U G E. The correct spelling is S U B T E R F U G E. Con. This uh, word is a noun, meaning a rest house in some Asian countries where caravans rest at night that is commonly a large bare building surrounding a court. Con. Could, could I have the language of origin? This word is from a French word of Turkic, Turkic origin. Con. Could you use it in a sentence, please? Needing food and shelter, the weary members of the caravan decided to stop at the next con, even if it looked unpromising. Con. K H A N Con. That's correct. Barrage. Use in the sense, please. Soldiers <coughs> storming the beaches of Normandy were met by a barrage of machine gun fire. Barrage. <coughs> barrage. B A R R A G E. Barrage. That's correct. Malihini. Malihini. M A L I H O N Y. Malihini. The correct spelling is M A L I H I N I. Empanada. Empanada. Can I have the language of origin, please? This word is from a word that went from Latin to Spanish. Empanada. Can I have the definition, please? A turnover filled with meat. Empanada. Can you use it in a sentence? Luke packed an empanada and an apple in his knapsack. Empanada. E M P A N A D A. Empanada. That's correct. Kabuki. Can you fun on the game, please? Kabuki. Can you add definition, please? Traditional Japanese popular drama with singing and dancing performed in a highly stylized manner. Can you use in a sentence? Performers of kabuki must learn to move with great control. Kabuki. Kabuki. K A B U K I. Kabuki. That's correct. Relevant. Relevant. R E L E V A N T. Relevant. That's correct. Consensus. Ma'am. Consensus. Consensus. C. Language of origin is Latin. Can you tell me the definition? The definition, the judgment arrived at by most of those concerned. Consensus. Consensus. C O N S E N S U S. That's correct.
Bureaucracy. Bureaucracy. B U R E A U C R A C Y. Bureaucracy. That's correct. Carafe. Can you give me the language of origin, please? Originally Arabic, this word passed through Italian and then French before becoming English. Carafe. Can you use it in a sentence, please? Sheila hopes to inherit her grandmother's Waterford crystal carafe. Carafe. C A R A F E. Carafe. That's correct. Nemesis. Nemesis. N E M E S I S. That's correct. Incriminate. Incriminate. I N C R I M I N A T E. Incriminate. That's correct. Wainscot. Can I have definition, please? The th lower three or four feet of an interior wall when finished differently from the remainder of the wall, as with wood panels, tile, or marble slabs. Wainscot. Wainscot. W A N E S C O T. The correct spelling is W A I N S C O T. Panglossian. Panglossian. P E N G L O S E N. The correct spelling is P A N G L O S S I A N. Amphibious. Amphibious. Could I have the definition? Able to live both on land and in water. Amphibious. Could you use it in a sentence, please? Justin named frogs, crocodiles, and beavers as three examples of amphibious animals. Amphibious. Are there any alternate pronunciations? There are none. Could I have the language of origin? This word is from Greek. Amphibious. Amphibious. A M P H I B I a S amphibious. The correct spelling is A M P H I B I O U S. Nader. This word is a noun meaning the point of the celestial sphere that is sphere that is directly opposite the zenith and vertically downward from the observer. Nader. Definition or uh, language of origin, please. Originally Arabic, this word went into French before becoming adopted by English. Nader. N A T E R. Nader. The correct spelling is N A D I R. Gulag. Gulag. Can I have the definition and the language of origin, please? The penal system of the former Soviet Union consisting of a network of labor camps. This word is a uh, Russian acronym. Gulag. Can you use the word in a sentence? Stalin chose a 15th century monastery as the site for the first labor camp of the Gulag. Can I have the part of speech, please? It is a noun. Gulag. G U L A G. Gulag. Correct. Demotic. Can you pronounce that again, please? Demotic. And give me a definition, please. Of, belonging to, or connected with the form of modern Greek that is based on colloquial use and is characterized by free acceptance of loan words and simplification of inflections. Can you use in a sentence, please? Everyone in Callista's ancestral village spoke Demotic Greek, except the priest, who usually spoke a more pedantic form of the language. Demotic. Demotic. D-E-M-O-T-I-C. 
I C Demandi. That's correct. Precipitate. Precipitate. P R E C I P I T A T E. Precipitate. That's correct. Yaman. Uh, language of origin. This word is from a Chinese word, yamen. Because the definition. An established uh, an establishment used by a Chinese government official or department for official business and often as a residence, a headquarters, yamen. Yamen, Y A M E N, yamen. That's correct. Perfidy. Perfidy. Did you use my sentence? Kate valued her friendship with Carol too much to let one perfidy destroy it. Perfidy. Language of origin. This word is from Latin. Perfidy. P E R F I D Y. Perfidy. That's correct. Kishka. Can you give me the language of origin, please? This word is from a word that went from Slavic to Yiddish. Kishka. Can you give me the definition, please? Beef or fowl casing stuffed with a savory filling as of matzo flour, chicken fat, and onion, and roasted. Kishka. Kishka. K-I-S-H-K-E. Kishka. That's correct. Swahili. Swahili. S W A H I L I. That's correct. Chagrin. Definition, please. Vexation, disquietude, or distress of mind brought on by humiliation, hurt pride, disappointment, or consciousness of failure or error. Chagrin. Language of origin, please. This word is from a French word. Could you use it in a sentence, please? Pete tried to conceal his chagrin when his younger <coughs> brother beat him at chess. Chagrin. C-H-A-G-R-I-N. Chagrin. That's correct. <coughs> Bolivar. Bolivar? Can I have the definition? The basic monetary unit of Venezuela. Bolivar. Can you use it in a sentence? Drew recently added a ruble and a bolivar to his currency collection. Can I have the language for origin? This word is from a South American name. Bolivar. B-O-L-I-V-A-R. Bolivar. That's correct. Pacifism. Can you pronounce the name, please? Pacifism. Definition, please. Opposition to war or violence as a means of settling disputes. Can you use it in a sentence, please? Many people support pacifism as an alternative to waging war. Can you pronounce it again, please? Pacifism. Pacifism. P A C I F I S M. Pacifism. That's correct. Crescendo. Crescendo. C R E S C E N D O. Crescendo. That's correct. Boysenberry. Boysenberry. B O Y S E N B E R R Y. Boysenberry. That's correct. Are you going to jump? Yeah. Okay. 280, 284. 284. Dennis, are you good? Okay. Adieu. 
I I'm, just a minute, I need to give you a definition. This is an interjection used to express farewell, adieu. Why don't you go ahead and give him a sentence, please. Adieu, my friends, called the fur trapper as he paddled away from the shore. Adieu. Language of origin, please. This word is from Latin-derived French. Do A D O. The correct spelling is A D I E U. Occlusal. Can you tell me the language of origin, please? This word is from Latin. Can you give me the definition, please? Of or relating to the grinding or biting surface of a tooth or to the relation between the surfaces of the teeth when in contact. Occlusal. Occlusal. E C L U S A L occlusal. The correct spelling is O C C L U S A L. Impetigo. Impetigo. Can I have a definition, please? An acute contagious skin disease transmitted by contact between persons or between healthy and infected skin. Impetigo. Can I have an alternate pronunciation? Impetigo. Impetigo. E M P A T I G O. The correct spelling is I M P E T I G O. Thwartwise. Definition, please. Diagonally. Thwartwise. Could you use it in a sentence, please? During the ice storm, a huge tree fell thwartwise across the path to the lake. Thwartwise. Language of origin, please. The first part of this word is from an originally Old Norse word that then passed into English, and the second part is originally English. Could you please repeat the word? Thwartwise. Thwartwise. Could you please repeat it? Thwartwise. Thwartwise. T H W A R T W I Z. Thwartwise. The correct spelling is T H W A R T W I S E. Fructiferous. Fructiferous. May I have the definition and the language of origin, please? The definition, bearing or producing fruit, the language of origin, Latin plus an English combining form. This word is an adjective. Fructiferous. Fructiferous. F-R-U-C-T-I-F-E-R-O-U-S. Fructiferous. That's correct. Cinephile. This is a noun meaning a devotee of motion pictures. Can you pronounce it again, please? Cinephile. Can you give me a definition, please. A devotee of motion pictures. Can you use it in a sentence, please? The cinephile had a uniformly negative reaction to the latest Indiana Jones movie. Cinephile. Cinephile. C I N E P. Hat I L E. Cinephile. That's correct.
dirigible. Can you please repeat the word? Dirigible. Origin, please. The first part of this word is from an originally Latin word, and the second part is an English combining form. Dirigible. Are there any alternate pronunciations? <clears throat> Dirigible. Dirigible. D E R I G I B L E. Dirigible. The correct spelling is D I R I G I B L E. Heliolatry. Can you repeat the word? Heliolatry. Any other pronunciation? pronunciation? There are no other pronunciations. Heliolatry. H E L I O L O T R I. The correct spelling is H E L I O A T R Y. Okay, since the field is narrowing, we'd like to take a moment and go over the end of B procedures for determining our champion if all spellers within a single round misspell a word. All remain in the competition in that case, and a new round begins. If only one speller in a round spells correctly, that speller proceeds to a championship round and must spell another word correctly to be, de to be declared our winner. If the speller misspells the word given in the championship round, a new round will begin with all spell spellers from the round prior to the championship round spelling in their original order. Now let's resume the B. Number 22. Nectarivorous. Can you repeat the word? Nectarivorous. Can I have the definition, please? Feeding on the sweet liquid that is secreted by a plant. Nectarivorous. Can I have the language of origin, please? Part of this word went from Greek to Latin, and the other part is from a Latin word. Is it nectarivorous or nectariferous? Nectarivorous. Nectarivorous. N E C T A R I V O R O U S. Nectarivorous. That's correct. Patronymic. Can you find the name, please? Patronymic. Can you make a definition, please? A name derived from that of the father or a paternal ancestor, usually by the addition of a prefix or suffix. Patronymic. Can you say in a sentence, please? The surname MacDonald, meaning the son of Donald, is a common Scottish patronymic. Patronymic. Is there an alternate pronunciation? No. Patronymic. P A T R O N I M I C patronymy. Okay, we proceed to another round for contestant 22. Okay, you can give the correct spelling of that word. Okay, patronymic is P A T R O N Y M I C. Okay. Right. Tonsillitis. Tonsillitis. May I have the definition, please? Inflammation of either or both of the pair of prominent masses of lymphoid tissue that lie one on each side of the throat. Tonsillitis. Can you use the word in a sentence, please? Dr. Graham treated Erica's tonsillitis with antibiot antibiotics. Tonsillitis. Ton tonsillitis. T O N S I L L. I-T-I-S, tonsillitis. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a champion.
congratulations. I am so excited for both of you. If you guys can come on down so I won't have to look up to you. I, <laughs> I kind of like folks looking up to me since I'm so tall, but <laughs> come on over. Congratulations to you. I, I first want to talk to the winner here, and I should have my pronouncer trying to pronounce your name. Make, oh, is it Muktik Paluri? Matika, I was close. Matika Paluri. Well, congratulations to you from Denton County. You know I'm from Denton. Hi. Okay. So congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> I just had to throw that little bit in. How, how often do you study? I didn't really study much for the spelling bee. Um, I guess I study like maybe half an hour or 45 minutes a day. So do you read a lot? Yeah, I just read the word list pretty much and that's all I do. Do you crossword puzzles? Not really. Just naturally smart. Just gifted. <laughs> it's okay if you got it like that. She just has it like that. I love it. Well, for those um, students who are sitting at home and they aspire to be in a spelling bee, what advice do you have for them? Just what everybody else says, I guess. Just try hard and do your best and um, don't give up. Don't like, give up. Even if you feel like you don't want to study one day because you hate spelling or something, just keep going. <laughs> just I keep do, going. I do that a lot. You do so. that all the time. Okay. Well, thank you, Mutika. And Adit Vidyashankar, was that close even? Not really? That was close. It was. <laughs> <laughs> okay, pronounce it for me. Just pronounce your name for me. I'm sorry. Adit Vidyashankar. Oh, I was pretty close. Yeah, you're right. I, 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 I nailed that one. Um, congratulations to you as a runner up. And what advice do you have for children who, um, I know you don't want to call yourself a kid, but you're, you're a kid, but what advice do you have for children out there who aspire to be good spellers and to succeed in life? Study a lot? Do you study stu a lot? I study a lot. How, <laughs> how often do you study? Every day? Every day. Several hours a day? Yeah, yeah. Like several hours a day? Like three or four hours a day? Yes. Couple hours a day. Couple hours. A Couple day. hours a day. Okay, we narrowed it down. Now I talked to one kid. You know, she's right over here. Who told me that uh, number two? I think all of these kids are winners. In fact, she studies about 400 words. How many words did you say? You know what? I'm going to learn how to spell all these words. Do you know how many words? A whole lot of words. <laughs> A whole lot of words. <laughs> okay. Well, Adit Vidyashankar. Did I get it right that time? Yeah. There you go. Thank you very much. Congratulations to Motika and Paluri. And I want to bring up Dr. Kratz. Did I get that right, Dr. Yes, Kratz? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> University of Texas at Dallas, our presenting sponsor, to present the trophies and also to say a word or two. Yeah. Well, I just want to present this award to you on behalf of the University of Texas at Dallas as the champion of the 51st annual Dallas Morning News Regional Spelling Bee. Congratulations. Look at that winning smile. And congratulations to you as well. I, I really appreciate both of you coming out and, and sharing your recipe for success for us. And just thank all of the parents coming out. Give yourselves a round of applause for supporting your children. And I'll have you to stand right here if you wanna if you want to stand right here and, and face the camera, I, I think, do you aspire to be on TV one day or be a reporter? What do you want to do in life? I'm inspired to be on TV and the report. You want to be on TV and report? Yeah. Okay, well, our future journalist here. And Motika, how about you? I want to be a doctor. You want to be a doctor? Probably. Okay, yeah. I think you'll have to study a little more. <laughs> <laughs> well, certainly appreciate it. Uh, and you'll be heading to Washington, D.C. in May. That's correct. And does the runner-up as well? Do you also yeah. go, or or just yeah, just just, just one? Just I just thought maybe in case she faints or something. Then. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. We we had that to happen. Were y'all pretty nervous? Yeah. You're pretty nervous. Yes. Did you sleep last night? Yes. You did sleep. <laughs> Matika, did you sleep? Yes. You did sleep. <laughs> you weren't very nervous. No. Wow. I I think you should be on TV. <laughs> or you could be a doctor. That's probably a step up. <laughs> As you can see, I'm killing time here. We have about five minutes. Never done this before. But if I could have a parent to come up, the parents here of these two, uh, the, the winner and runner-up, if you want to come up here for a second, maybe we can talk to parents. Did, did, your, did your dad make you study? Did he push you into this? <laughs> Dad's coming up. Is your dad a good speller? Yeah. Pretty good speller? You're a better speller, right? Okay, Matika, and let me let me talk to your dad over here, uh, Mr. Paluri. Yeah. Okay, how proud are you of Matika? 
quite proud. Yeah, this is the third time she's going to the nationals. So. The third time? Yeah. Why, is it just in the genes? Are you a good speller? Do you? No, I'm not particularly. <laughs> <laughs> You're not particularly. No. How amazed are you that she can retain all of this? She doesn't yeah. study that much. Thirty minutes a day. I mean, she is. Yeah, she does quite well. She has a lot of uh, visual memory. Uh, that's what my wife keeps saying. So. Photographic memory. Aha! Yeah. Uh -huh. I knew there was something that doesn't. Run, that, you have photographic memory. I can't say, really, not about myself. No, no, no. okay. Well, it must be mom at home. Will you have brothers and sisters? Mm -hmm. I have one brother. Okay, I know they're so proud of you. Well, thank you so much. Thank you, everybody, for joining us for the ninth annual, I believe it's the ninth annual, Regional Spelling Bee. 51st? I was way off. I, I, get, getting the pronunciations wrong and the numbers wrong. Okay, 51st annual. It's a 2009. There you go. That's where the nine is. The 2009 spelling bee. And we will, of course, follow um, Motika to Washington, D.C. The Dallas Morning News, of course, will we'll have a write-up. And I know we'll have, you know, the person who wins on television. And I hope that that is you representing Texas and Denton County. Thank you so much for joining us. And you have a wonderful day. We appreciate you watching. This has been the Dallas Morning News Regional Spelling Bee, presented by the University of Texas at Dallas. Our sincere thanks to all students, their parents, teachers, and school administrators in the Dallas region for making this program possible. Once again, let's thank our sponsors. Presenting sponsor, the University of Texas at Dallas. Whataburger, just like you like it. Southwest Airlines. With Southwest Airlines, you are now free to be more productive. Visit southwest.com.